Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to film this video because I purchased a fragrance online and I only got it a couple weeks ago and it already came in and I ordered it from France from a website called Premier Avenue, which they sell a whole bunch of niche fragrances and their prices are better than I've seen here. And by the way, this is completely unsponsored. I just, I was recommended this website. So I went ahead and I purchased one of my favorite fragrances of all time and it's here. So I wanna open up this box with you guys and you guys can leave a comment and make a guess as to what you think it is. And I have mentioned this fragrance before. Let's open this up. You guys probably saw that it is Bal d'Afrique. And yes, I love this fragrance. It is one of my absolute favorite fragrances in the entire world. I'm gonna do a video of my favorite fragrances ever. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing what my favorite fragrances are. But in the meantime, let's unbox this little guy. So I also got three samples from a brand called Laurent Mazone, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I am not familiar with this brand, but I will sample these samples later. Ooh, and some Parfums de Marly. Oh, and Initio Atomic Rose. I've been wanting to try that one so badly. And Pegasus Exclusive. So that is super exciting. Thank you to Premier Avenue for including those for me. Man, I wish my nails were done so that I could unbox this nicely for you. So you know what? I'm gonna unbox it for you guys anyways. Just excuse my nails, cause I just, I want you guys in this excitement with me opening the box together. So let's do it. Again guys, excuse the quarantine nails. Like for real, I can't get them done, I'm sorry. Here's our box and here's our little seal. We're gonna break that seal. Here is my Val d'Afrique, one of my favorite fragrances of all time, and you better believe it's gonna be my scent of the day. Now, before I got the perfume, I should let you guys know that I've got the cream, the body wash, the hair fragrance, and a hand cream, and for some reason, well, I know what the reason is, I just didn't want to buy the actual perfume. And the reason for that is that it wasn't very long lasting when I had a sample of it. I just didn't find that it justified the price point. But since I found it on this website, so I didn't pay, I didn't pay like 400 bucks for it. I think I paid like 280. So I think it was 180 euro with all the, I call them penalties with all the like fees and currency exchange fees and, and then the actual currency exchange. I think I ended up paying about 280 Canadian, which I was okay with. I was okay with because it's a hundred mil bottle. So it's about 280 per milliliter, which I reckon is fine. So I'm gonna just make it my scent of the day. This scent is divine. It's absolutely divine. It is like, for those of you who haven't smelt it, it is like pure happiness. There's a little bit of citrus in the opening that goes away. It's mainly like a sweet vetiver, which if you don't like vetiver and that typical like rooty smell that vetiver is known for, this isn't really like that. This is sweet and floral and there's a note of, I think it's called African marigold. So. I, I can't, like I now need to smell myself for the rest of the evening. I think I'm gonna call this video and see you guys later. I'm kidding, I will finish the video. It's warm and sweet and a little bit citrusy, like back to the actual scent description. It's like completely unisex. It on men actually, sometimes it goes a little bit more smoky on me, it goes more sweet and it's just, it's a perfect balance of everything. Like this fragrance to me is absolutely magical. I've never smelled anything quite like it. I mean, there are fragrances like it, like um, Vetiver Fatale from Atelier Cologne, but that one's a lot more masculine, a little bit more like 
smoky and earthy and a lot more vetiver. This one's a lot more fresher, lighter. Like, I know a lot of people say that this is a summer scent, but for me, honestly, it is like totally signature scent worthy. It is an all year rounder. I can easily wear it in the winter. I can easily wear it in the fall. It warms me up in the fall and and then in the summer, it just, it goes with the overall kind of summer vibe and just makes me feel really happy. Mm. It just, if you guys haven't tried it, you absolutely need to try it. I know it's an older fragrance and a lot of people have spoken about it, but it totally deserves the hype. This fragrance is like, is like a must have for somebody just venturing into niche. Like this is a must, must, must try, at least try. And I'll tell you as well, it took me a while to really like it. When I started to really like it was when I got the cream and I was going little bits at a time using it as a hand cream. It really started to like captivate me and I started to really fall in love with it. In the beginning, it really didn't do that much for me. So all that to say basically that you do need to give this one a little bit more of a chance to really fall in love with it if you don't at first sniff. Now that I'm so in love with it, I'm like, how how did I not fall in love with it at first sniff? It's a really unique scent and it's actually quite difficult to describe. The name itself is kind of an homage to um, African culture and art that was very prominent in Paris in the 1920s. It was this almost eclectic mix of like very like fashion forward, modern Parisian style of the time combined with the African cultural aspects. It's very bright. It's kind of like pushing boundaries in a way. It's very unique. The description and like the history of the name doesn't really tell me much about the scent itself, but it's a nice little historical tidbit to, to know. If I had to assign a color to this fragrance, it would be like a very warm orange color. If if that makes sense. Like when I smell this, it's a warm, nice orange smell, like a, a soft, velvety, orangey smell. I don't know. It just, that, that's what it smells like to me. Not that it smells like oranges at all, just that, just the color. It's, it's really beautifully blended. It's really, it's just something to get your nose on. So definitely check out Val Freak and yeah, that's, that's my exciting video of the day that I just really wanted to share with you guys and share my unboxing and my really special new addition to my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.